Hey, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Barely making it today. Still very sick. But I uploaded a video on April Fool's Day, and it wasn't a joke. I thought it was actually the day before. My fault. So, I decided to hook up the circuit myself with a few bits of pieces I have. I'm using my old camera right now. I can't see anything, so I presume the footage is fine. Um, so my spark gap is in here. This is my original spark gap I built. It's really quiet inside of here, which is nice. I've got a 12,000 kilovolt, or 12,000 volt, I should say, neon sign transformer hooked up to two capacitors and shorted out through these rods. This is just what I had laying around. Okay, this is just copper pipe being shorted. So you basically just have everything in parallel. So you have this connected across the spark gap connected into the ends of two capacitors. Then you have the output of the capacitors shorted against this copper rod. So this is a short. This is probably way too big. It's probably way out of tune if there was tuning in this circuit. And then I have a light bulb. This is probably a 45 watt or something. Uh, I have a light bulb connected to two very small wires. And these small wires are tangled up over here and they connect to the end of the capacitors that are across this short. So you can see the red lead and the white lead connected to this short and the green lead and the white lead connected to this short and those are connected to the very small wires. So, uh, I got a thermal gun here and I just want to show you the temperature. Alright, it's about 72. I don't know if you can see that. I really hope you can. I'm using my old camera. It has no screen on it. <laughs> it died. So, I'm just going to use this one for now. So I'm going to turn this on for I don't know, a little bit. And it's a lot quieter because it's inside this chamber and there's aluminum foil over it in case there's any EMF and all sorts of bad things coming directly from the spark gap. We can capture most of it. So here we go. So there's the light bulb lighting up. Okay. It's arcing against the bottom. That's what you hear arcing. And look at our temperature. 104, 105, alright, so it's putting out real power, and I'm going to turn it off because I think these capacitors are being overrated right now. So, the temperature, you saw the actual temperature, now that I got it off, let's look again, because it'll change a little bit. I get it right, there you go. So the top of the bulb is 112 degrees. So it's putting out real power, and these wires over here are just ice cold and they didn't burn up and they're teeny tiny little things. I'm pretty sure I could run this transmission line, these very small wires, as far as I wanted and it would still work just fine. So it's definitely warm. It's not hot but it's warm. So I just kind of wanted to show you this is not an April Fool's joke. This is for real. I'm not going to dunk my hands in this right now or anything. Um, but yes, this is actually happening. Something popped. Probably those capacitors are getting quite warm. These capacitors are not rated for this. Uh, these are cheapos from China that I bought years and years ago and never used them because they just don't very don't work very well. Get a little warm, but uh, yeah, I can stick uh, like this light bulb in here. This is a what is this? 40 watt. So a 40 watt light bulb dissipating, and I kind of wish the uh, let's set this down. I kind of wish. Uh, this wasn't sparking on the bottom, it's arcing somewhere. I can hear it. So let's let's take another measurement. Um, let's take another measurement with the heat gun. And these capacitors are pretty hot, so they may not work very well, but let's just do it. Alright, so... 73 or so. Okay, let's check these capacitors. They're actually pretty warm. The weird thing is, 
okay, is that we're reading, or we're, we're making power across a dead short. This copper pipe is a dead short. I can make it shorter with this, and it still works. You know, I can put this here, and it's shorted out even closer. I was trying to tune it with this copper pipe, but uh, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I think that has to do with these crappy capacitors. So, let's go ahead and turn this on again, and check the light bulb. Alright. So mine is not fully lit like uh, like Alex's was in that video I posted. But I, th I think that has to do something with these capacitors. Those capacitors are junk. So yeah, we rose the temperature up to over 112 again. Make sure you can, can see that. So that's, I mean, that's a lot of power through this teeny tiny little wire. Now I did uh, jumble these wires up like this where I've mixed them really closely together and they will arc, they'll burn through the coating. So I'll show you that right there. But look, the light bulb's still lighting. I'm a little more lenient on touching this stuff right now. I don't think I will. But the point is, is like these are all just really tangled up and it's burning off the insulation. This is not high voltage. High voltage uh, stuff. But you know, for a giant arc to be happening and we have a dead short and a light bulb that's sort of lighting up. Anyway, this is not the perfect setup. I just wanted to show you that you can do this with just cheap crap. This is just some stuff I had laying around. I just really briefly wanted to put this together and show you that it's not a fake, it's not a fraud, this is the real deal. And for your pleasure, if you want to hear what this spark gap sounds like without the cover on it, I'll let you hear. I haven't done this yet because I know it's loud. These are carbon, two pieces of carbon. So here we go. So my spark gap isn't uh, isn't nearly as loud as what like Alex was playing with. I think that's because my capacitors are pretty small. So I need to, like I said, I need to I need to get better capacitors. Play around with the circuit some more. But yes, no April Fool's joke. Peace and love. God bless. My name's Russ. Have a good day. And I hope I feel better because I've been feeling like crap. I've been getting my rest, but it hasn't been helping. I need to do something different. Don't forget, I got an EMF high filter here to going back to the mains uh, circuit. And I'm used using a uh, power strip as my on off, which is kind of nice. And then a uh, neon sign transformer, spark gap of some kind, and then paralleled, or I should say two capacitors, and then a dead short with some length of rod. Uh, all to be played with yet but yeah this is some pretty small wire it's probably up into the 32 to 36 came off this spool right here all right peace and love no April Fools guys check out this stuff look into it uh, I'll link a L Eric Dollard video for you to watch which will help you get started in understanding some of this very important stuff known about it for a long time I just haven't pushed it so now I'm sort of showing you my basic setup I'm just playing around with see ya